Today I'm going to be showing you how to play Game Boy Advance games on your Android phone or tablet. First you will need an emulator to play the games. This is basically a virtual Game Boy. I use My Boy Free. You can find it in the Play Store or use the link in the description. Next you'll need a few games, also known as ROMs. An easy way to get ROMs is with ROMs Free, again in the Play Store or the description below. Open up ROMs Free. You'll get a warning message at the beginning, but just click OK. Scroll down and find Game Boy Advance. Notice that the free version of this app only allows 5 downloads before requiring you to purchase the premium version. I only have 3 downloads left, however there is a way to get more ROMs from CoolROM.com for free, which I will be covering in another video. So go ahead and click No. Go through the list and find the game you want to download. In this case, I chose Pokemon Emerald. Go ahead and download. Once your download has completed, open up My Boy. You should see a list of your downloaded games. Selecting a game will start it up in portrait mode by default. To change the screen orientation, press the menu or equivalent button on your device. The settings menu can also be found by pressing the wrench in the upper right hand corner of the initial screen. Select video screen orientation, and you will be presented with a list of display modes. I prefer landscape. Now that your game is good to go, I'm going to cover a few features about the emulator. My Boy supports a save state feature that lets you save at any instant in the game. However, you can only load states with the premium version. Luckily, you can use the standard in-game save feature as if you were playing on a real Game Boy. Another notable feature is the fast forward function. The free version only allows 2 times speed, but the premium version offers speeds of up to 16 times as well as reduced speeds. The reset button acts like turning your Game Boy on and off, and in order to completely exit out of the game, you'll have to manually close it through the menu. This is nice when you get a call, need to send a text, or possibly want to search for some Pokemon stats and you know your game will be there when you're done. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. And do your friends a favor by sharing this video and getting them addicted to Pokemon yet again.